Now, I don't like to say I told you so, unless it's to my ex anyway, but I told you so. Hi, it's me again. And you remember when Nadine Dorries got the job as Culture and Media Secretary and she'd come out swinging against the BBC, says, I'm going to sort this out, I'm going to sort that out, the licence fee's gone, and we're like, well done, Nadine. And I said, eh, not necessarily well done, Nadine, because the only way any plans that you implement will go through is if you're still in the job when the charter expires for the BBC in 2027. And let's face it, she was never going to be in the job in 2027. And she was actually out of the job a lot quicker than I thought. So anything she implemented can just be wiped off. I mean, just take an eraser to it, get rid of it. And the girl that's in the job now, whatever she brings in, she needs to be there in 2027 to follow it through. We get a new government or a new party in power, they can just throw it out the window, can't they? So that's why we have to keep fighting the license fee. And the only way we're going to win is to cancel TV licenses and persuade as many people as possible to cancel TV licenses because this is how it is. Have a look. With a new British government, specifically a new culture secretary in place, the decisions to privatise Channel 4 and scrap the BBC licence fee are being reviewed. The new culture secretary, Michelle Donilon, told the BBC yesterday that she was looking again at both decisions announced by her predecessor. You know, the person that implements it needs to stay in all the way until the licence fee charter expires in 2027. If they don't, Someone else will come in, think they've got a better idea, want to put their stamp on something and change it all. Just change it all. There's only one way to win this fight, and it's to get TV licenses cancelled, vote with people's wallets. And I mean, look at what she says. On the matter of the BBC's licence fee being scrapped, she told Radio 4's Today programme that she was re-examining the business case, saying, It is no secret that I've been a long-term sceptic of the licence fee and that we need to make sure the BBC is sustainable in the long term. So I'm looking at this in the round. I'm somebody that listens. I'm somebody that decides policy based on evidence. And that's what I will be doing over the coming weeks. So that sounds quite positive, right? If you work just on evidence, you'll see that the license fee is a regressive tax that is from the past. It's got no place in the future of British broadcasting. But she then says this. Donilon did take time to praise the BBC's coverage of the Queen's funeral in recent days, saying the broadcaster had done a tremendous job. And she added, It showed the true value of the BBC. But for me, that means it's even more important that we make sure the BBC is sustainable in the long term. So there you have it, folks. The new culture and media secretary will do nothing about the TV licence fee because it's, she's now seen the true value of the BBC from a government perspective. There you go. That's the same as what Nadine did, right? When she, when she first got the job, she came out swinging, and then it all went downhill, didn't it? Almost like, almost like the government needs to protect the BBC because the BBC protect the government. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is they've got a royal charter until 2027, and even if tomorrow she said, that's it, licence fee's done, she would still need to be in that job in 2027. Or someone would just throw it out the window and start again from scratch. Not gonna work, is it? You know, it's the end of that sentence was worrying, isn't it? And she wants the BBC to be sustainable in the long term. Well, being commercial isn't necessarily sustainable. They could mess up, make terrible shows, not pulling any viewers, which means no advertisers wanna be bought. That's not sustainable, right? The only way to be sustainable is the license fee or a media tax. So she fills me with no confidence at all. So as I've said several times, and as I always preach on all of the videos, the best way to fight this is to vote with your wallets and persuade as many people as possible to cancel their TV licenses. Let them know what they can and can't watch. If you hit my main name down there where it says Chili John Carney, the first video that pops up on my YouTube homepage thing gives you all the information. Share that. Share it on your social media. Share it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you share stuff. I don't know. And it will help more people people and they can email me questions personally they can comment on here we'll all help won't we because that's what we're about that's the best way to do it let me know what you think about this and do you think she will get the job done as always down in the comments below and thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that way hopefully i'll see you in a new video soon when i'm not sitting in my mum's dining room having to blur the background out and i can be back in the studio a couple of weeks time promise Ta -da.